I was a young lawyer. I had um, recently worked for the Legal Aid Society, and all I wanted to do was to practice criminal law and to have an opportunity to go to a murder trial with the famous, talented William Kunstler. Well, when I heard that Kunstler was appointed and knowing about the, the Chicago 7 trial, I was concerned uh, that it would get ugly uh, because that seems to be the way he worked. It was a case where there were very few other people who would be involved, and there was a case where the intimidation level was so high that they really needed to bring somebody from a different part of the, the country in because the fear was that the control, the way they control everything else there, would, would infect the trial. Well, Bill Kunstler was, not arguably, he was the most famous lawyer in America. Um, he was the Clarence Darrow of his generation without any question. Um, and he attracted huge masses of people wherever he went. I mean, thousands would go to his talks. I was not impressed by him. I, got, I must say, I was not impressed by him. When people of my generation, which was 20-some years later, Margie's generation, um, became lawyers, while we didn't all become trial lawyers like Bill, Bill was the example to us of becoming a radical lawyer and representing the oppressed. I mean, he made a name for representing uh, essentially left-wing type activists. And I believe he believed the same things they did, but I also think he had his own agenda. And he played it to the press, and, uh, and uh, it's, he could have done a better job for his clients, is what I think. His most famous case was the Chicago 7, uh, where people were accused of crossing state lines to cause a riot. And there was a huge, long trial published TV and press every day on the trial that completely deteriorated into the best theater you could have. He was held in contempt in there and it, that was where he kind of developed this bad boy persona. Bill going to St. Croix, I mean, you know, he couldn't move an inch. There were, it was like the biggest thing that happened in St. Croix in their lives. I mean, thousands, everybody would just gather around Bill. You know, he's good at getting people off, very good at it. I mean, if you have somebody who, you know, is the, the community wants to hang, um, Bill is the person you want. One thing about Bill is that he was, he couldn't be intimidated um, in any situation. So he always was the one to, to speak out and to say, you know, the right thing and what was happening because there was, he was very brave. There was nothing that would intimidate him. Well, Consular had a, a habit of just saying what he thought. I don't know whether he put much think in it before saying it. But I don't think he maliciously meant anything other than disrupt the justice system. I don't think he meant to de really defend anybody except defending them with his disruptive attitude and behavior. And he didn't take himself serious in even that. I think he was more of a movie star. When he saw something, he said it. It wasn't that he was uh, some kind of radical lunatic screaming, but when something unjust happened, he was out there and he was willing to say that. And you can see that from the transcript. He, was, he wasn't wild or loony. He was just defending his client. 